on your way towards your success, towards uh, your, your dreams, your visions, who you want to be, one of the most important lessons, I'm telling you right now, so listen carefully, one of the most important lessons is getting away from people that would hold you down. Now listen, it's not, it's not, I'm not talking about haters, that's, that's a whole category in itself. I'm talking about family, friends, lovers, like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Some of those people are the reason why you can't get ahead. You, I'm, I'm telling you right now, because if I grabbed your phone right now and I looked at the last, let's say, three people you've talked to today, right? Last three people you've talked to. I would know the people that you talked to most recently and the people you talk to most often are going to determine your level of success in life. Here, here's, here's, here's an example. I want you to imagine three of the most successful people that you know in the world. And, and you don't have to like personally know them. They could be movie stars, they could be politicians, they could be actors, I don't care, right? Think of three people. Okay, now imagine that in the last five days, you've had many conversations with them on text and on phone. And imagine what your day would consist of versus the, the shitty people that you spend your time with. And I can say that with complete, utter sincerity, that the people around you are shitty. I had to extract myself from the herd, from the fucking sheep, from the losers. If you're gonna hang out with losers, you're gonna be a loser. You could be a winner amongst losers, but what fucking good is that shit? Wanna be a winner amongst winners. If you hang out with broke, poverty-driven people with their fucking weak-ass mentality, you are gonna be poor. No matter how much money you make, you're gonna be poor. Guaranteed you're gonna be poor. If you're gonna hang out with mediocre idiots, you're gonna end up being mediocre. The, the, the most you'll be is better than those fucking mediocre people, but you don't know how good you are until you get up in front of excellence and power, and then you go, oh man, I got some work to do. You do have some work to do. You do have some work to do, and so do I. This journey is also my journey. You're watching it. You're watching the progression. Some of you guys have been watching me now for years, and you see, you see, keep watching, keep watching. So they, they, they bury me, watch what I'm gonna do. Every time. But one of the things I have done is I have turned my back on my family before when they couldn't understand, support, and, and see my vision. Yeah, it works. Yes. I've done that. I've done that. I will do it again. I have turned my back on my girlfriends. I have broken up too many, numerous times to count because we didn't have the same purpose or we couldn't see eye to eye or they were trying to stop me. And I will do it again. That's the difference. Once you remove yourself from the herd and you become successful, then you can go back and handpick people. But on your way up, you better, you better fucking, you better cut the fucking stupid ties with the fucking sheep, right? Because they're gonna keep you down. And they're gonna make you feel all kinds of stupid fucking emotions that have no, that they have no place in your success. We're talking success. I'm not talking that you get to pay the bills. Fuck that. Right? That, what is that? That's another channel. I hope I get to pay my bills this month. I hope you fucking don't. How's that? I hope you don't pay your fucking bills this month because I don't think you have enough pain in your life. 
Right? One of the questions someone asked me, I don't know if I said this in the last episode, but I'll say it again. They're like, how do you stay so hungry? I'm like, bro, I've been rock bottom so many times in my life. I've hit it, I've hit it too, too numerous times in numerous areas of my life. And when you come out of that, you turn into a fucking monster. Or you don't come out of it, but I come out of it. So, what's the lesson here? Take a look at the people that surround you. I've said this a thousand times. I might say it a thousand times more until, until I don't want to say it, but this is a big deal. Take a look at the people you're around and ask yourself, do you want to be anything like those idiots? If the answer is no, you need to cut them out. Simple, I'll tell you straight, you need to cut them out. I'm not saying, oh, try to keep, I'm saying cut them out, fuck them. It's your life, God damn it, it's your life. Love yourself for fucking once in your life and see how it goes. There you go.